trying to see if we can watch this thing light up again. Dang it all, it lit up just a minute ago. I don't know if it's going to do it again. That'd be really cool if it would. Right up in, in the upper part of it, you'll, you'll have to watch. Oh, I did it just do it again. In the upper part of it, I saw it light up. I don't know if it's going to do it again. Dang it all. <laughs> oh, it just moved. All on its own. Oh, I want it to light up again. I've seen these things light up a few times, like they're communicating or something, but it's pretty rare to have it happen, and I haven't caught one on film yet. Well, I don't know. I don't think I have. Not a really good shot of it. Uh, that's a bummer. Well, I was hopeful that it might light up again. I'm going to move it myself a little bit right now, just a tiny bit. I just wonder if I move it, if that will do anything to make it light up. Gosh, that was so cool when it lit up. Just almost like a little thunder, I mean like a little lightning came up in that area of it. It was really weird. Those little things coming off of it here. Mm. Well, yeah, it's not going to light up, I don't think. I'm going to put some stuff on it and see if it, this stuff does anything to it. Let's put this on here. I'm going to put a little bit of this stuff here. Let's see if we get any response out of it. I hate it when it moves it and then I can't see what's going on. Let's see. Focus in better. Okay. Oh, it's turning into hexagons. Oh my gosh. Or maybe I grabbed hexagons too whenever I was, uh, now it's moving by itself, I'm not moving it by the way. Maybe I grabbed hexagons when I was uh, grabbing stuff too and I just didn't notice them on my slide. Maybe that's what happened. So the hexagons are moving now, that's pretty cool. I am not moving them, they are moving themselves. I'm going to move it now though, just to get it more in the center. There we go. There we go. Very cool. I thought I had picked up two two things on my slide, but I didn't see it when I looked around on my slide, so somehow I missed it. It's probably right next to it, so I just passed it by. Uh, let me see if there's anything else on here, or or was that it, and did it turn into hexagon, to, to a hexagon once we saw a different shape of it? I don't see anything else on my slide here. Then that's all there was, and it did turn into hexagons. That's weird. That's creepy. Here, let me turn. Let me turn this so we can try to get closer to it. Back off just a little bit. Wow. That's cool. Look at the hexagons, and you can see the little goo coming off the hexagons, like I've been talking about. That's the goo that has all the bacteria and stuff in it. The little hexagon things are, um, that's why this was a little shiny when I picked it up. The hexagon things are, um, are aluminum, and uh, I believe they have some barium in them, and then they've got some biological stuff in them, too, that's being sprayed out on us and getting into my home. I think it's because I need a new roof and I'm going to be getting a new roof soon. But I think that's why it's getting into my home. Um, and through my dog, too. I think my dog's bringing it in from outside. Plus, I find it in my car, driveway, all over the place. And I think we bring it in on our shoes. Um, I think it's really almost impossible not to bring it in your house. It's 
pretty much impossible, I believe, not to do it. So, anyway, oh, this is awesome. Maybe it had something over it, and I just, you know, it moved it away. Oh, it just moved by itself. And it moved it away whenever I put this stuff on it. It ate it up or whatever and exposed the hexagrams. Because I believe the hexagrams are what's the envelope that's carrying all this stuff to us. And interestingly enough, you know, the hexagon is a, an ancient uh, satanic symbol, which uh, was used to place a hex on on uh, people, on the victims. And uh, uh, sadly, I think that maybe what we're looking at here is that kind of a situation here, where they're trying to place a hex on humanity, maybe the Illuminati, the elite, whatever. Um, you can see the goo that's on these things now. Getting close up to them. Uh, I might be able to separate the goo from them. If I'm super, super careful, I may be able to do it. And uh, I've shown pictures of it's just a It's just an exact replica of this. It just comes apart from it and it's just clear. There's square ones and there's uh, hexagons. And it just removes uh, from the hexagon. And I'm going to try to see if I can remove any of them right now, possibly. I don't know if I can. But maybe I can remove some of the... Um, maybe I can remove one of them from their goo. And... Uh, See, that one's all by itself over there. And try to see if I can just see the goo without the, without this in, in the way. See if it, if it removed. Yeah, see some of the goo? See some of the goo that came out? See that? I'm going to try and get this in better focus here some of the goo that came off here this is just the goo see that yep that's just the goo from these things that's the biological part now it didn't come off in the perfect shape because of the fact that it's um you know it's got the stuff that I just put on top of it sometimes if I just use water I've been able to separate it a couple of times and have the perfect shape the perfect hexagon and I have pictures of that tons of pictures of that so it's not like I'm just you have to take my word I mean I have pictures Here's the goo right here, too. There's some more of the goo right there that you can see that came off of these. It's part of the goo. It's got the biological stuff in it that's causing the Mark Allens and um, causing people to have memory problems. It's trying. They're trying to make us transhuman, the Illuminati and whatnot. Also trying to track us with this stuff. Let's see if I can find the other one. Where did it go? Also trying to track us and... Um, go back to this one and uh, you know if we die oh well population control so there you have it they just figure they can do everything with this solution spraying us with this stuff and that way you know we can't do anything about it once uh, there's the other one right there once uh, we get sick from all this stuff you know there's nothing we can do about it so just the way it is. We don't have the energy to do anything anyhow. They can just dumb us down and, you know, control us. So there you have it. I don't know. It's a pretty great plan if it works. Kind of up to us, I think. Most of us are too busy with our lives to worry about this kind of stuff. I was. Till it hit me straight on. Now I'm just terribly bothered by it, but I don't really know what to do. So, anyway, it's out there. I've said it. And I don't uh, think that any of us wants to think this is happening. I don't want to think it's happening. I think it's pretty much uh, anybody's nightmare. Somebody would be spraying this kind of stuff on our on our world, not just to harm us, but harm the animals and plants and all kinds of stuff. Yeah.
pretty horrible. But uh, anyway, these are super small. I have the magnification really strong here, so I really upped it a lot. Let me see if I can find that other one. There's the one that's all by its little self, all by its little lonesome there. You can see it's got the, um, oh, it's kind of spinning around. You can see it's got the um, goo still attached to it quite a bit there. Kind of rolling around in the goo. I'm going to put it back over here this so you can see it better. But yeah. If anybody wants to take these and find out what exactly what they're made of, I have a bunch of them, so... I can share. If anybody's really serious about it, I'll send you one. Maybe a couple. Just let me know. But I really want to uh, know that you're serious about testing it and finding out exactly what's in it. And uh, I want to see the test results. That's my only stipulation. I would try to have these tested, but I have no idea where to have them tested at. I'm going to look into that. Um, but I've seen them in the different uh, evolving shapes and things that they do and watch little things spurting and growing out of them, the little fibers and hairs and things. And they get on us and I think they're activated by our DNA too or by other creatures' DNA. And they even change colors depending on what um, stage they're in. Pink ones, blue ones, green ones. Um, Maybe that's why the thing was lighting up. That's so weird. Because it's these things. That's bizarre. They're just communicating or something. Crazy. Really crazy. Anyway, there you have it. Creepy as it is. They're shiny. You'll see them around if you look hard enough for them. And, uh... Thank you for watching. Um, don't forget, by his stripes, we are healed.